shark populations are crashing around the world. Roughly a third of all shark and ray species face some threat of extinction. We're supposed to have a certain number of sharks to be able to control all of these animals which are below them. Millions die by finning to feed the growing demand for shark fin soup in Asia. Sharks, they're not the monstrous killers that they get the bad rap uh, for being. Tonight, there's a war going on in our oceans, day in, day out, against one of the most amazing and beautiful sea creatures, the shark. We've all heard about Shark Week. Watch this from the Discovery Channel. To the 25th anniversary of Shark Week, and to celebrate history. I have a shark, 500 feet from the entrance to Chatham House. We are making history. Yeah, this is Shark Week, but it's more than just a TV fad. Despite the hysteria about shark sightings and shark attacks, these creatures have so much more to fear from us, from what the human race is doing to them, than we have to fear about any kind of shark attack. An estimated 70 million sharks minimum are captured and slaughtered every year, mostly in the name of sport, fishing, because of demand for shark fin soup. Three sharks every second killed 200,000 sharks every day gone up to 73 million sharks every year dead straight out to Liz Karen manager of global shark conservation at Pew Environmental Group up uh, how can we get Americans to stop massacring sharks and demonizing sharks yeah well sharks are primarily killed as you said um, for shark fin soup Shark fin soup is primarily, the demand comes from China and Asia, but it's also served here in the United States. The Pew Environment Group actually teamed up with scientists from Stony Brook University and the Field Museum in Chicago to test shark fin soup in the United States and see what species were being um, found there. We found that there was actually the endangered scalloped head in soup sold in the United States. That's endangered according to the International Union of Conservation of Nature. Uh, their red list of endangered species. So one clear thing that Americans can do is really to think twice before ordering this soup. It sounds small, but it really could be key for the survival of certain species. It's a stupid soup. We've got to get rid of it. There is no taste in a shark fin. There are plenty of alternatives. And there were 12 shark fatalities around the world, and yet we kill 100 million sharks a year on average Mm. for shark fin soup mostly. Yeah, you know, we see sharks as monsters. We've been demonizing them for years. It picked up speed, of course, when the movie Jaws, that big hit, came out 35 years ago from Universal Pictures. We all have seen this clip, but let's look at it again. This is nonsense. Here's the reality. You are more likely to be struck by lightning. You are more likely to win an Academy Award than you are likely to get attacked by a shark. And yet every year, every summer, because somebody sees a fin in the water, we create, Liz, this hysteria where people then come to fear these creatures and regard them as the enemy. We've got to get rid of shark fin soup. We've got... It's been banned in California. It's been banned in Washington, but it's still legal in New York State. I know there's an effort to get rid of it in New York, but we most of all got to get rid of the mentality that it's us versus them, because if all the sharks go, it's going to devastate our ecosystem. How is it going to do that? How does how is it? Why is it important for sharks to remain in this world, Liz? Sharks play a really key role in the marine environment. They're at the top of the food chain, and they basically regulate the health of everything below them, um, from the smaller fishes, commercially important fish, and also the coral reef systems. You know, without sharks doing what they do and have done for over 400 million years, um, our oceans won't look like they do today. It's unbelievable when you look at the video of people slicing off the fin, the top fin of a shark right there and often they throw the shark in the water and leave the shark to to writhe to death and this is happening at a rate of 73 million sharks a year shame on the human race for allowing this to happen let us realize that we're on the same side us and the sharks let's save them